Well, thanks, Graham. And uh, it's, uh, oh, sorry, Paul. Yeah, sorry, Graham. Sorry, Graham and Paul for, uh, for uh, inviting me here uh, for uh, Open Forum uh, Europe. I'm uh, particularly pleased uh, to be here as a member of the, the old generation of internet companies um, and hope uh, that we still have, uh, despite being so long in the tooth at 12 years old as a company, uh, that we might have something use, uh, worthwhile to say. Um, I was also going to uh, uh, make a comment about, uh, uh, Graham, your, your observation, your, your, your uh, observation about the open uh, Wi-Fi network here at the, the conference, but uh, I'm going to refrain from that joke. Um, but um, so uh, really I wanted to talk a little bit uh, about openness. Um, and, uh, you know, the last few weeks have, have, have taught us that, that uh, economic confidence is uh, a long way from being reestablished uh, out there in the markets. And, you know, it's clear that we're going to need attention to, to, to the present crisis, but also a pretty compelling long-term vision that requires a serious commitment to, to change. You know, the Commission's recent uh, Europe 2020 uh, communication put it, uh, the crisis is a wake-up call. It's time to be bold and ambitious. So it was pretty fascinating for me to hear Commissioner Cruz uh, outline the digital agenda uh, that she has, which, ha which is clearly part of that long-term vision about competitiveness and about economic growth. She paints a, a pretty exciting picture, in my view, and shows that uh, the Commission's got a pretty clear understanding of the di dynamics of the knowledge economy. And so let's hope that uh, the Commission and all of us can, can execute uh, on some of that. So I'd like to talk about, uh, again, about, brief, uh, uh, about openness uh, and about how it's uh, important it is uh, for realizing uh, this, village, this vision that Commissioner Cruz uh, talked about. So let me start by um, highlighting some of the, the big trends uh, out there in the Internet. I, I think these are not going to be news to many of you, but it's, it's worth uh, going through them uh, quickly. You know, the last 15 years uh, of, of the web have seen, uh, as you all know, unprecedented opportunity for the economy, for business, for entrepreneurship, uh, and for civil society at large. And, you know, at Google, we, we actually believe this is just the beginning. You know, we've only sort of started down the path of what the network can, can do uh, for the world. The Internet's on its uh, verge of, uh, is really on the verge of its next major phase of growth and indeed uh, sophistication. You know, yesterday's Internet was about using your computer, computer you go to a website, uh, you read something. Uh, tomorrow's Internet is really about some much more powerful applications, much more pow powerful services. And, and there are a bunch of trends going on here, uh, and uh, let me mention four of them. Uh, first, the cloud. Uh, cloud computing, uh, frankly, it, it kind of gave rise to the, the Googles of the world in its earliest uh, incarnations. We're going to see a massive shift from the desktop-centric desktop mode to, uh, you know, where everything's on your PC uh, to the cloud uh, model where the data, your content, uh, the things you care about uh, are in the cloud and you can access it from any device that you choose. But the cloud's not just about uh, taking what we did on PCs and, and, and putting it online. The model